Hey there, my name is Jeff. So I'm, I'm going to talk to you today about discovering your purpose. How to find your purpose. Oh boy, big question. Um, a year and a half ago, I was researching life purpose all the time. It's like, I don't know what happened when I turned 30, all of a sudden it's like a light bulb or something went off in my mind where I started questioning everything. Everything I was doing. I, I had known my purpose, I felt for most of my life, and that was to create, to make, to be an artist, to be successful, to be a graphic designer, to uh, make cool shit and be happy. That was all I cared about. And actually, that's that's an awesome innocence that I had. Now I'm questioning everything, like what am I doing with my time? Is it valuable? Is it helping me? Is it moving forward in life? And it's just, it's actually kind of annoying, but all these questions um, are, awesome because they've like stuck me on this path of discovery and learning and awareness and it's amazing but so how do you discover your life purpose and the simplest answer that I can give you is to follow your joy follow your wonder follow your curiosity enthusiasm and yeah that's that's what I'm talking about like when you are aware of what brings you joy and happiness and fulfillment those are things that give you this good vibration, this high resonance that make you feel love and make you feel creative and accomplished. That make you feel in awe or in wonder of the universe of life. And that's unique for each individual person, has their own sort of set of activities that align themselves with joy, wonder, and those high vibration emotions and love. And that's how you know when you're in alignment with your purpose. And when you're out of alignment with your purpose, you feel negative emotions, guilt, regret, shame, um, not shame, but you feel just discomfort and suffering and helplessness and powerlessness. You feel str struggle, all this struggle in life. I don't believe life is supposed to be a struggle. I believe life is supposed to be challenging and those challenging aspects of life is what makes life worth living, to be honest. It's my current worldview right now, I feel like life is a game, this human game. And we are here to experience this game. And this game is challenging because if the game was not challenging, it would be boring. Who watches football and if there is no struggle between two teams, there would be no point if they if they went out. I got this I got this quote from this book, Busting Loose from the Money Game. He says, "Imagine why does anybody watch football?" He's like, "Imagine if the referee went out there and said, this team wins, go home. You don't even have to watch." Everybody would be like, "I want to watch. I want to experience it." The teams wouldn't go home. They'd want to fight. They'd want to play against each other to see who really won, even though they already knew the answer. They still want to go through the struggle and the challenge, because. That is the point. Fun struggle is all right, but suffering and all of that suffering struggle. That's when you're out of completely out of alignment. And I don't know that there's a lot of people that, you know, they are in a bad situation. They're in abuse situation. They are um, starving, or they're they're you know in a third world country. They're in war. That is that's obviously terrible. And those people don't have the luxury, I think, of sitting here pondering life's big questions of like, what's my purpose? I mean, we're, I, I freely admit that I'm fortunate to be able to ask that question and to have the freedom to go after what I believe is my purpose. But say you experience something in your life that is incredibly traumatic. Why did you experience that in your life? What was it? How did it change you? There's a reason why big events like um, some sort of traumatic accident, some reason why you suffer a lot, those are actually amazing signposts that help point you towards your unique piece of the puzzle. Um, Hal Elrod is a great example. He got in a, he got in a car accident that um, he got hit head on from a drunk driver at 60 miles an hour or whatever. And he was in the hospital for, for weeks. And he actually through that traumatic experience, had like a life altering change where he's like, you know what, life is fragile, I'm going to live life to the fullest. And he, he used that as like a springboard and as, an, as sort of like an inspiration for other people. 
And some of the most inspiring people I know are like, maybe they're physically or mentally handicapped or, ch or challenged. And then they use that as just saying like, you know what, I, this is who I am. And if I can do it, you can do it. This is how I love life. This is my perspective on life. And they inspire a lot of people. And it's like they take their challenges and then they flip them on its head and use that as part of their purpose, as part of inspiring other people in humanity. To, to Like for me, I know about depression. I know about um, my challenges that I've faced and I get through them. And that, that gives me wisdom and insight into that particular problem. And I can help other people who have that problem as well. That's part of my piece of the puzzle. And also the things that bring me joy, music, art, creation, creativity, deep conversation, um, relationships, those are things that bring me a lot of curiosity and joy. And also fantasy, magic, and, and, um, and the spirit realm, and, and uh, out of body experiences, and this mysticism. I'm really interested in all that stuff. So how does that play into my piece of the puzzle? This is all really interesting. And I and when I started following my curiosity and my joy, I noticed it brought me to places that I never would have expected. But then also it brought me into new challenges in life that says, you know what, if I want to follow my joy, I need to confront this issue in my life that's basically getting in the way of following my joy. And if I say, you know what, that's too scary to confront, I'm not going to follow my joy. I'm just going to do what is going to make me safe and comfortable. That works out for a little bit until I start to feel this building resentment inside that I never went after what I wanted to. There's this burning desire. That's a, and then there's this fear that says, I can't do it. I'm not going to be able to go out and be a musician because I'm never going to make any money or like no one's going to listen to my songs or no one's going to, they're going to think I suck. That's, that's another part of me that's preventing me from chasing that dream of music. Um, so that's how do I know that's part of my purpose well it doesn't matter it brings you life it brings you joy it, it is part of your purpose if it brings you joy and fulfillment and, and love and all that stuff that's why that particular activity makes you feel the way it does because it's related to your purpose and I was talking with um, Caris, Caris Melina Brown of about life purpose on my first episode or second episode of my podcast about purpose and she talked about like, so I've got a myriad of activities that I like to do. And I'm like, how do you know which one I should do? Like, which one should I make my purpose? And, um, which, and when I think of purpose, I often associate it with making money, making it my job. And she says, well, maybe music doesn't necessarily have to be your job, but it can be like this other, this hobby that you do on the side that brings that gets you in alignment with this awesome feeling that of creativity and accomplishment and, and love and joy and freedom that actually helps you in other aspects of your life it doesn't have to be the main thing so that's a relief to know that just you can't you don't have to pick one and that's your purpose it's always changing all you need to know is what your compass is what your integrity is and right now I'm all about truth love and freedom and when I'm making decisions about what should I do, I want to make sure that I'm aligning myself with my truth, with, with what brings me love, and what brings me freedom, and personal empowerment. Am I feeling empowered by this choice? Am I feeling love when I experience this? Am I feeling that it's true to me? Do I get feelings of truth? Do I resonate with it? Am I, or am I living in denial, or do I have to sacrifice part of myself to um, experience this? And I also helped understand my life purpose by getting astrology readings. There's a site, um, I, I think it's called like Astro Dienst, Astro Dienst. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it was an astrology report that actually I paid $65 for it and getting my birth chart in there. I'm not really a big astrology person, I don't know much about it, but I was curious because it gave me a psychological report of myself and it, and it actually brought me a lot of clarity on why I act the way I act and why, and why I am... Um, the typical problems that I face, it's almost like it's preordained in the way the planets were aligned. I will face these types of problems and this will shape who I become as a person and it will shape my piece of the puzzle when I create. Also another thing I looked at were rune readings about finding my purpose. It's like you enter in your birth date or whatever and then you get like these runes and they all have specific meanings and people can tell you all about your life purpose. And another thing I looked at was called human design 
you enter in your birth date and everything and the time and location and it tells you what type of person you are which um, in my case I was a generator which means that I have a particular way of responding to um, situations I have a particular way of of uh, being inspired to create like and knowing these types of things about me all kind of add to this piece of this to this puzzle of who I am and through meditation and journaling and stuff like that I'm just adding to this puzzle that I'm getting a greater picture of me and what I love to do and, I, and I, you can do that for yourself you have this you're starting to really understand who you are and that reflects directly on what your purpose is but as simply as it is know what brings you joy and curiosity and wonder wonder is a new thing that I that I've been thinking about too a friend of mine Els of Living Discernment talked about wonder as one of the greatest states of being uh, we had it as a lot as a child and we did a lot of things that just was like looking at the world through wondrous eyes like I cannot believe this is out there this is created this is part of my life this is what I get to experience follow that and see where it takes you